Well, how about this? The USA U23s Sheesh. overturned a 2-0 deficit against the France U23s on Monday with goals in a span of three minutes. And that guy right there, Griffin Yao, off the bench, helped spark this turnaround for the United States. Two matches, a goal, and two assists. Those are some pretty good stats during the international break, if I do say so myself. And we here on Morning Footy are honored now to be joined by Griffin Yao, who said he's got some nicknames going this camp. Yowski, Yowza, Griffin Yao. That's an awesome athlete last name. I, I just have to say that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yao is uh, it's definitely not a last name that you that you hear very often. Yeah, that's for sure. And so you uh, you got your teammates and uh, I'm sure coaches as well getting to use it in creative ways. And what was the reaction to that goal, both from your team and yourself after you scored it? I think first off my team, I mean, my team could not have been more supportive, to be honest, especially uh, my American friend here at Westerlo, Brian Reynolds. I mean, as soon as as soon as it went in, I first immediately went to get the ball and then I kind of just took a glance over to the bench and I saw him on his feet jumping up and down and yeah from from the rest of them it was it, they were just they were they were very supportive and me personally it was uh, definitely a big moment for me you know it'd been um, a while since I had been with the uh, the national team and so to be able to make my mark and, and score that goal on that type of stage against against that, uh, you know, type of team was, you know, it's, it's it's everything I've been working for. Griff, you and I, both former DC United players, uh, it's so good to see you continuing to develop and, and progress. But you guys are going up against juggernauts, right? These are these are Olympic favorites in, in this France national team. What did it do for your confidence moving forward? Because I don't think anyone really gave your squad a chance. Um, and all of a sudden to come back and make it 2-2, now that you have them in the group, are you guys feeling a little bit better? Did you always think that, hey, we, we can do this? You know, I think, um, I think personally, we going into the game, we didn't really want to, you know, overhype them. We didn't want to be, you never want to be scared going against an opponent, even though, you know, you hear the big name of France and you know that they've got big players, big names, uh, you know, names that, that I immediately recognize without even having to look at the scout for France. You know, I can just go down the roster and, you know, I recognize names. And so for us, it was really, you know, just kind of approaching it like, like any other game to the best of our ability, you know, and, not being scared, you know, just doing the things that that we train, you know, a, a big uh, staple for us as a team was, and this is something that the coach was saying throughout the entire camp was, you know, we are, we have our identity and where we're going to play a certain type of way, no matter what, you know, of course, based on every opponent, you tweak, you know, one or two small things, um, but, you know, we have our style of play, we have our identity. And we're going to stick with that, you know, whether it's France, whether it's Guinea, whether it's these, you know, big names or, or names that you don't hear very often. We're going to stick with with what we know and what works for us, what we've been training on. And I think it just showed in that game. You know, we I thought we came out very, very strong. You know, I didn't think we we showed any fear. I thought, um, you know, we had one or two great opportunities just in the first 10 minutes. And I think that, you know, that just kind of goes to show that we're you know, we're a big name too, you know, and we are, we are here to, to show everyone that. I like, I like how you speak, Griff. Um, everyone's calling you Griff. Should I go y Yow Dog? I want to give you a nickname <laughs> as well. Maybe Yow Dog. What up, Yow Dog? Real quick, I do want to talk about that move, as Charlie mentioned, going from DC United, getting a lot of playing time with Luden, heading over to Europe. Obviously, now you're on the national team. You're getting you're getting minutes, and when you do get minutes, dude, you're shining. You've got two uh, two assists against Guinea. You, you're obviously scoring against uh, France, which we've just seen. How do you think that move to Westerlo in the Belgian side, a newly promoted Belgian side? How do you think that changed your game and did it at all, or is this who you've always been? No, you know, I think, you know, you have there's there's a, there's like a base of of a player that I've always been, and uh, the move to Westerlo just kind of amplified all those all those things. The one I talk about a base, you know, it it let me work on the things that I really need to work on. You know, it, it allowed me to make mistakes, and you know that was really the biggest thing. Being in a on a platform where I'm able to make mistakes, where I'm able to then look at the film, where I'm able to go into training and, and feel like it's going to be okay to make mistakes. Like I'm not going to, 
lose the ball or I'm not going to, you know, make a big mistake and immediately like, oh, you know, that's it. You know, my playing time's cut. I'm back on the bench or I've got a, you know, I've got this long way to go. It was, it's a really great platform to be able to, like I said, make mistakes, to grow, to, to really amplify those, those base things that, that I've been doing since I was a, since I was a youth player. And um, yeah, I can't, give enough credit to the club of Westerlo, you know, the coaches, the staff, the players, you know, everyone has just been so supportive um, from since my first day here. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's, I couldn't have, uh, me personally, I don't think I could have made a, you know, a more perfect move from, from DC as a stepping stone. Griff, going back to the game, what was it like scoring a goal like that in front of Thierry Henry? <laughs> And it was it was it was crazy definitely i think in the moment as soon as the ball went in the net i didn't really think about it but um you know after when when everything kind of settled down and i really uh you know deep what had happened uh yeah it was it was unbelievable you know because Thierry Henry being a player that i've watched for for years and uh you know that my brothers watched for years that that everyone talks about and that i'm used to seeing on tv to be able to first see him before the game in real life you know checking out the pitch and you know as i'm walking onto the pitch just seeing him in person mm -hmm. and then on top of that being able to score against him was yeah it was it was unbelievable real quick do you listen to a lot of uk hip-hop by any chance you know i i here and there i'll listen to some uk hip-hop uh i think now that I'm more um, in Europe, in Belgium, I think it's definitely, uh, you know, become become one of my favorites. Uh, but because yeah, you, you know, just I'm, said deep, which is like, that's, <laughs> a real, that's a real North London term right there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely I'm I'm a big hip hop guy. So, you know, whether it was, you know, American hip hop or UK hip hop, a lot of the slang just I just pick it up and it, it makes it difficult to communicate sometimes with some of my teammates because I'll throw around like a, a slang word from America or something like deep and they're like, wait, like, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I swear when you're in those locker rooms, all of a sudden, you know, your former your teammates are playing different music. So you naturally take it in. You're like, hey, well, where's this from? Where's this beat from? You become more uh, international. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, what would you think of the stadium? That was my former club, so show. What would you think of the, ah. the pitch? Oh, it was it was nice. It was really nice. We trained on it um, the day before, obviously, and it was great. The atmosphere was great. Um, the ground was great. Honestly, everything was, was, was awesome, especially compared to, you know, not that our field against uh, Guinea and Spain was, you know, so bad, but compared to, Compared to that stadium, it was it was night and day for sure. Okay, so show FC, okay. show show <laughs> Duna Ale. Um, my last question, Griff, is you, you obviously showed your quality in in this last uh, camp. There's only 18 spots on the Olympic team. How competitive is it for these 18 spots, knowing that there's three overage players that can come into the to the picture? Yeah, I think it's it's super competitive, um, and I think. That's kind of what makes, um, you know, the whole dynamic of the group so, so great. You know, everyone is trying to show their best 24-7, uh, you know, whether it's at training, whether it's in the games, whether, you know, you're coming off the bench, whether you're starting, everyone is, you know, a top, top player. So everyone is constantly competing, constantly trying to give their best. And yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely high stakes. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I think that's, that's a, that's a great environment for a team. You know, I don't think you ever want to be a player and have the feeling like, you know, I'm comfortable, you know, for me personally, when I'm uncomfortable and when I'm feeling like, okay, you know, I've got something to prove, I've got something to show, you know, that's where I think me personally, I've had my best games is when I'm, when I'm out there to, to prove something to everyone. Facts. Griffin, Big facts. You touched on what it was like seeing Thierry Henry before the match. Who's your team? Do you have a team that you root for? Yeah, you know it's kind of it's kind of sad. I've been a Chelsea supporter since I was really young uh, because my older brother was a Chelsea supporter, and so just growing up, constantly watching them. You know, Hazard, Drogba, but in the the recent the recent months, it's been it's been tough to be a Chelsea supporter. Yeah, it's been real yowza. Oh, Alexis, Jeez. love it. Hey, <laughs> hey Griff, Griff, we do a little thing here called Footy Kit Friday. We'd yes. love to get some Westerloo kits, so if you can help hook us up, let us know. Yeah, we're going to shamelessly That's, put that out there. 
That's definitely that will definitely be possible. I will uh, as soon as I get an address, they will be they will be sent your way. All, All right, let's go. Westerly Griffin, let's go. Okay, Griffin, y'all, great chatting with you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us today.